Hey everybody, how are you? I'm super happy today. <laughs> I'm gonna show this adventure I just had. I just came from a gas station and that gas station is in Shenyang downtown. And the thing is funny because that gas station is the place that Grandma V and I, we met, you know, when we were uh, like having these jamming sessions, you know, or uh, an event to do together. We used to say, oh, I let's meet at this gas station. There's a place there. So, so the thing is, Grandma V thought that that was my address <laughs> for some reason. And she sent me markers to that address. <laughs> so it was like this um, place, you know, the, the people that works there, the manager, um, this, you know, told me that, look, this is awkward, but I have a package that is saying it's coming for you, but to the gas station. <laughs> and I already, you know, trying to give it to the the mail you know pay people and they don't want to just accept it and they keep you know like bringing it back so it was like like a, an adventure because he wanted to confirm me if i'm cecilia villar the cecilia villar that it's supposed to be this packet and yeah that was me so <laughs> i had to explain the whole idea that oh I, I have a youtube channel i make tutorials people send me you know markers or gifts or balloons and <laughs> I have the package. Yes, I went this morning, and and yeah, and he gave me the package. So I have a grandma V. Thank you so much. Look at this, guys. Ah, uh, now I have lots of markers here. There are different colors, and I'm gonna try because I don't know if you ever tried this brand. It's Fairy Pack Permanent Markers. It's what brand is this? Do you know? Uh, Shuttle Art. Hmm. I'm gonna try them because I saw them this on Amazon. Um, so I'm gonna try them and I'm gonna take the colors I need. But, so today I'm uh, dedicating this tutorial, this design to Grandma V. Thank you so much, Grandma V. <laughs> thank you, thank you, because I'm sure I'm gonna do this. So look how many markers here and so many different colors. I like to play with different, oh, and this one kind of look like blush. So that's the color I kind of like need it. It's kind of like a skin color. That's really cool. And then I have different type of pinks. So my plan is to use a soft pink. So I don't know if this one will be a good one because it's kind of look like magenta. So I'm gonna have to play with different colors. But so far, I'm gonna try this one, this pink and probably gonna try the black that way we can kind of see how well you know they are i'm sure they are good i'm sure it's a good brand okay now the design because i'm already talking and saying so i'm really excited to share this with all of you but the design today is super cute and again the last tutorial i told you and the two last tutorials i told you that i'm trying to make fast designs for line twisting and all depends if there's no many kits in line you can maybe add more details but the idea is to make fast designs and i'm going to show you uh this design look at this it's so cute and adorable it's a panda bear yes it's a panda bear but in a line twist version how to do this only two balloons yeah only two balloons this is so awesome right so let's start doing this look this is a five inch round it's easy to manipulate to carry with you five inch round balloons in your apron but you can make this bigger and it looks adorable and cute you can make it more elaborated yes but my plan is to make something like simple fast but look looking cute now uh this is just two balloons but you can always play with 11 inch round and then 260 instead of 160 because this is going to be a five inch round and a 160 black are you ready Yes, awesome. So I'm very, very happy. Thank you so much again, Grandma V, for the markers. Yeah, they came. <laughs> they came. Woohoo! No, because it was kind of like. Bean. We we'll put it inside. Pew! Oh, it's just a bead, a plastic bead. You just put it inside. Now, you're going to inflate your balloon all the way. So inflate all the way. Pa -pa 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 -pa. So now we know this balloon doesn't have any hole and it's already stretched because now we're going to lose the air and we're going to leave it kind of like a regular 
circle idea. Look, let's see, something like that, soft and squishable, okay? Okay, that's it. Look at the size. It's like the palm of my hand, okay? Now, you're going to tie it close to the nasal, close to the nasal, just like this. Leave some tip there. It's going to help you this part to touch it, but just tie it like this, okay? Now, this is the thing. With practice, you're going to be much better or easy for you to recognize each ear, which side you have to, to, uh, to grab this. Ah, well, and this is the other thing. I... I put only one racing bin, but no, mm -mm, it had to be two. I was so excited. I was like, ah, too excited, too excited. <laughs> okay, relax, breathe, focus. Instead of one racing bin, you have to put two racing bins. But if that happened to you, like you're like me, like all crazy head, so you can fix it, don't worry, look. So you can have a sharp if, if this is the first time you're doing this and you have to kind of like look at your design like this and think where you want the ears to be so i think what is gonna be like here pew, pew. so you make a dot there very small but it's gonna be a good idea to give you a and the other one the other side so you have dots in each side now you can uh you have only one racing bin there. That's why you can leave it for the other one and grab another racing bin and attach it here. How? From the outside, it's possible? Yes, it is possible. You just have to pinch and grab some balloon and, and hold it there. You see, it's, it's, let me see, it's there. I trap them and then you twist this. You twist it a couple times and that's it. Now, you need to have an O, oh, because this is gonna be line twist work, you have to make sure you have already a balloon, black, black, uh, black 160 inflated, like seven finger tail, and you're gonna grab them and pass it around there. And that's it. You lock them there a couple times, and then look, this is what I'm gonna do. Um, pay attention. You're gonna make one, like two finger bubble, and then you can make another two finger bubble, Okay, soft and squishable, and then you are gonna make double pinch twist. That means each bubble is gonna be a pinch twist. Okay, and then the other side the same. So that's why you don't want to make that too too complicated. So it's like two pinch twists. Then from the rest, you just have to kind of like twist, measure this to make like a loop that goes on around. You know, in between the pinch twist. So you just go up. And make kind of like a loop there okay and you you can make this a squishable but you have to make sure you have something like this you see you just cover from one side to the other side and a squishable so then you can play to accommodate things in a moment when you have that you cut your balloon leave it some space here you cut it but don't get rid of the 160 because we're gonna use it for the next year and for the rest of the body so now you have this you make sure how you lock them you pull you pass it around one time then in the, look at my finger there you're gonna pass it and tie it all so that way we kind of make sure it's all tight and now it's easy for me and i don't know for you but i use my chest a lot you see i'm just keeping like a table this part and and i use it and then i just accommodate things okay but we have one ear you have one ear so that's one ear we need to make the other ear so now we have the racing beam we're going to use it <laughs> and we have to kind of like point it the racing beam wherever it's the little black dot that we make with our sharpies so that's what i'm trying to do while i'm showing you so i have it there i have the racing beam that i grabbed it already let's see the best angle and now you twist it all together you twist it pip, 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 pip. And now again, the same idea, the 160 balloon, you pass it around a couple times to that racing bin and you twist, twist, twist to make sure it's locked there. But don't, you know, think, oh yeah, it's locked and let it go. No, because we haven't really tied it. So now you're going to make again two finger bubble. And this one, you can twist it, you know, one by one. So let's make two twists. It's okay. And then you can make another one. Two finger bubble and then make it pinch twist. So that's the idea. Now accommodate the bubbles the best way you want it. But the thing is now the rest have to go around 
between the pinch twists. So you pass it around while you squeeze so then your balloon is gonna have more shape around the pinch twist, okay? So that's what I'm doing. Okay, now when you have done, you're gonna cut, leaving some space to tighten, but don't use your teeth, don't use your teeth. You cut your balloon, you let some out, you tighten. Now, we're gonna grab this, make sure we pull, pass this around while I'm, your finger is trapped there, you need a finger, and then you tie it this way. And then the rest, you just pass it around. It's gonna be perfect. All rough, all safe. And look, these so cute ears. It's a panda, and if you think, oh, I don't have time, this took me forever, just make it into a bracelet, and look how cute it's gonna look. Okay, but, we're gonna keep going. So it's kind of the same trick and idea we did for the last tutorial of this cute animal from another magic world. It's kind of the same idea. So this is what we're gonna do. Look, we're gonna squish. Look how I hold everything. Squish and kind of like measure here. Okay, just like this, look. So here you have approximately like four finger bubble. And then from there, you kind of have this so you're gonna measure like four finger bubble, twist it around, then you're gonna make a pinch twist in each side, one here and one in the front and the back. So pinch twist, and then the other, pinch twist up. And what about, it's something really cool that I like about, you know, these designs. It's cool, you know, because it's not too big, but also not too small. You know what's something too small? Like it's like this is a, thing, a really cool size and also for little kids, you know, to hold it or anyone, you know. And I can show adorable. I look at it, it's not ready, but I see it and it's adorable. Now you measure again four finger bubble to go to the other side. And the rest you cut it. But don't get rid of this because with this, what I did, and I'm gonna show you, don't get rid of it. You may think, oh Cecilia. It's not enough. It's not enough. No, you will see. Just twist it, make it kind of like soft and squishable there. Leave it for a moment because those are going to be, believe it or not, feet. Now you tie it, this part. And the thing is, you can play, instead of to be like this, you can play to make be more like, like this. <laughs> so you can bend it. Bend it and and have this shape you see instead of all straight a little bit bended it's gonna look you design make you design huggable is that a word maybe you want to hug this thing okay now this is a design let's it's not done yet but again if you're in a hurry you think oh there's no more time you can attach this into a bracelet and it's gonna be look oh you can um you know attach it to what we have here look this this is what i do I just grab a little bubble here and then the rest I twist it together and because it's soft and squishable, okay, it's soft and squishable, this is what I do, I just kind of like bend this in half, this bubble, this loop, you bend it in half, oh my goodness, okay, let's see, you twist it, lock them, make sure thing doesn't come and down. Then you grab the loop and the half, you twist it, and then you're gonna make kind of like a, well, it is a double pinch twist. So you're gonna grab each bubble, look, grab it, pull from the center, pull and twist it. And that's it, it's small, but that's, you know, that way we are only using, you know, two balloons, which I think it's not impossible. It is possible just with practice. Now you pull this part, and I recommend you to grab from here, from the tight, and thus you pull. So that way it's kind of hiding and things are very more attached. Okay, and just twist it around a couple of times. And then you pull, shoot, yeah, no good job. Look at this, look at this awesome, cute design. I think it's adorable. And the good thing is, then you can uh, give it to people. people. If you don't have time, you can say that this part is that tail. Or you can add a tail in the back. The tail probably is going to be what color of panda bears? What color of panda bears? I think it's black. So you just grab, um, you know, and make a bubble like here in the back. 
and then put it inside. We're gonna pretend. We're gonna pretend that's a tail. And then in the front, you will see a picture there that I made. I have it right here so I can have the idea. But this is something that um it's kind of these eyes like this. Look. You see the angle? It's going pew. And the same, the other side is gonna be like very like this. From there, you're gonna make a circle. And you're gonna color in between, between the circle and between the, the whole um, bigger shape. Oh, what is that, oval? Okay, so you color it. Now, to make this design also, I recommend you to use good quality balloons. What I mean with that is probably Qualities of the talent, the Okay, now you have that. What else? Because we are trying to make things simple and easy. I think this is a very easy way to make panda bears. Then the nose, again, as we make it before, something like like this. And then from here, just pew. Look at that. Look how adorable is this. Now, oh man, you see, I'm so ah. Uh, I'm using my regular Sharpie that I have black, but I don't want to forget. So now I'm going to use this soft Sharpie, but this is actually kind of like magenta. I'm going to play with both and let's see, because I have this one looks like more soft, right? So I'm going to use first this one and let's see. Let's see. Well, let's try these new Sharpies and let's put it around here. Oh, yes. Very cute. Look how cool. Now I'm going to try the other cheek, another color. And Let's take it out and let's see the difference. Mm, even softer, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Very cool markers, look at the difference. I prefer the softer color. This one, I'm gonna put it right now on my, on my back in my case. This is the perfect color. Thank you, Grandma V. I'm gonna put it right here. <laughs> But this is a design, um, I just wanted to right now fix it only because this part better for the picture, you know, it had the same colors, but it's just that, uh, this one. Okay, so this is the design. One more detail that I think is gonna make your design look cuter, and I'm gonna use the black now, the new black, this brand. And it's just to make a little, so can, you can collate, where is gonna be the belly button? And it's gonna put it right there. So I'm gonna put there a little heart. Very little, the little one you can. And look at this, look at this design. I think it's gonna be a hit of your events. And only two balloons, oh, the tail. Be careful, you know, when you make a tail, maybe leave the tail to the end because I mess it up there. It's just something like that, the tail, the face. And this is a super cute, fast panda bear. I'm very happy with it and I'm super happy to share it with all of you. Now. I want to remind you how to collaborate with this channel to make it better because that's the plan. I love to share with you all the tutorials I can because I love to play with balloons anyway. So I'm, even if I'm not making the video, I'm probably going to be here playing with all the balloons and making things. But the thing is, um, I appreciate a lot all of you collaborating, sending the markers, balloons, because that's also another thing we use a lot. In order to practice, for example, that design, I make some mistakes like this one it's kind of like cute but but from mistakes you learn so that's what it became the other design that already give it you know who i give all the balloons that i was practicing i give it to the manager of the gas station <laughs> so that's what it is but the thing is if you can collaborate sending balloons i will appreciate it if you have for example balloons that you think oh but what can i do with these balloons what you know send it to me i will be happy to try and play with those balloons and find ideas to make you know cool designs so uh what else don't forget you can find me on my instagram don't add me as a friend on facebook because the thing is on facebook uh you can like my facebook page i will appreciate that but i try to keep you know the friends the people that friend me kind of for clients for people that contact me you know in my community to hire me for events birthday parties but the best place you can find me and you can follow me and if we can chat if you want, it's gonna be Instagram. So my Instagram, Alpaca Global Balloons. Okay, so you see, this is a very, I think, line twisting design and it's a very cool one, you just have to practice. Again, I, I was very um, 
distracted thinking that if you have a quick link for this design it's gonna work good no for this design you don't need a quick link because a quick link will be coming out like this and that will be mm, silly right Boom. no from this is just a round balloon so just a round balloon and practice the racing bean idea you see that technique is a really awesome technique there has been the times that I practice so much that technique that I make a xylophone. No glue, just only the racing bean idea. Imagine each note, you know, it was attached with two racing beans each. So it was uh, in a 260 balloon, so it was a lot of work, but with practice and challenges like those, you became better. You, you became, you know, like, what is, you master, you know, the balloon twisting thing. <laughs> awesome. Have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.